Good morning everybody. This is just going to be a quick video. I wanted to show what I've been working on. Um, the backgrounds for these ATCs um, are from a technique that Pat shared with us, a bouquet. But I didn't do circles. I just pulled out stencils. So I don't know if you can see. See how the stencil is on there in the white? So that's how these backgrounds were done. But I did a variety of stencils. Okay, here's the first ATC, and it's got bricks on it, and I just would apply the white ink heavier in some spots and lighter in others, and then I just applied the butterfly and the little butterfly tail and the little saying that says, today would be a lovely day to be a butterfly. Okay, and then this one, I used a heart um, for the white portions in the background. It's kind of hard to see with everything I've put on top, but that's what I've done. And I've got a diamondized tree off the side there, and then I just punched out a whole bunch of butterflies, and it says, just when the caterpillar thought that the world was over, it became a butterfly. Okay. And then the last one I did has like an animal print in the background, but it's hard to see too once I got everything covered. Um, the fairy is a spellbinder's die that I picked up at Tuesday morning. I made these flowers with diamond dies. I think those are, um, I think these are all with the mini must-haves. The one single rose and then these little flowers here. Now this one here is with, I don't know if that one's a diamond die actually or if it's a um, EK Success Punch. But I made the flowers and the fairy. What I did is I punched one of her out and applied it directly to the background. And then I did the wings. Then I punched out another fairy, cut the wings off real careful, and layered her up so she's dimensional. See? But just her just her body and arms. And then I um for the wand, I actually did another um Another wand, but cut the top off and then glued just the handle portion over her hand so it looks like she's holding it. And then I added some little teeny blings that Rosa had sent me. And it says, leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. And these are for a swap. I'm late getting out. And so, Cheryl, these are yours. And I hope they look springy enough. And y'all go and look up Pat. I'll, I'll put a link to her video on how to do this technique because it's a lot of fun. And you can use your stencils if you don't want to just use the circles in the background. And it really turned out really pretty. So again, there's the brick background. That one had hearts. And that one had like the um, animal print that was in it. And I hope Cheryl will like these. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Oh, wait. Cheryl, your package came yesterday, but I haven't gotten it opened yet. So these will go in the mail to you tomorrow, and I will share your package later today. Bye, guys.